Hey Lou, I'm um, just kind of rallying people real quick, see if who wants to get in here. We are doing some sign stuff, we're at a school and stuff, bringing you guys along because you know, I love you guys so much. Um, so this, the Talons off Piqua sign that y'all saw the other day, refers to this place here, 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 because they're like, mascot has got like talons and shit right so the backstory i'm actually gonna kind of get a hoodie it's a little chilly man look my nibble the hard i need to get a hoodie i am not gonna go rabbit today just because i don't want them to do some bullshit since we're at the campus with the mask Do, uh, <laughs> do some high visibility instead. Okay, so backstory. The Bowling Green State University has a fire program. And they are the reason. That shit's all fucked, right? So we want them to get their talons off Piqua. Dirty motherfuckers. So we got a bunch of signs here. Guys, I got that sign I want to use. Get the, get the, get the chippy head off. See the here. Yeah. We are joined by Lion One and uh, what's your name? Lion, you want to lock the truck? Yeah. Feed? I think that's a good idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. All right, you want to say hi to the people? Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> kind of giving people some backstory on why we're here. So we are in Bowling Green, Ohio. The Bowling Green State University. It's a protest. They spread awareness. Because, here, you wanna, most of them, I'm gonna take this one. They need to get their talent off Piqua. Okay, so I don't know how many of you saw this morning's video, but it was basically a short little recap of the extortion meeting from last night where one of the commissioners. Wanted to show his ignorance to kind of basic knowledge. Aside from the heat treated pallets, you know. So that's a pretty good little video. We spent uh, spent about 30 minutes working on that at the bar last night before I went to bed. So I think you guys will like that one. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, the buck starts here. We support you here in toxic and corrupt pickle ohio well thank you thank you don we're doing this for you guys had to drive all the way up from north carolina but hey let's see who else wants to drive on up i made sure to put on my little glowy glow jacket so they can see me for miles they're like who the fuck's that guy and then they're like wait that guy's holding the sign so there's like two fronts so they're either like what the fuck there's a rabbit I think the rabbit might have to come out, actually. <laughs> but, you know, it's just certain places at certain times that the rabbit comes out, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes, guys. I don't know if these kids are worthy. What do you think, Lion? I don't know. I don't know if these plebs are worthy. So 
what's today? I don't even know what today is. Fuck it. It's Thursday. Shit. Fuck. Wednesday. Wednesday? Oh, is this Wednesday. Saturday? Alright, it's, it's Saturday. It's Saturday evening Tell at about 9 o'clock at night. The eclipse is so wild right now that the sun is out at 9 o'clock at night. It's uh, business as normal. We'll put the timestamp up on the screen for you guys right here. See, here's the timestamp. But yeah, be sure to check out the commissioner's meeting. That's just, that's just pretty funny. I do think it's one of the best videos to date. It, it's, it, for the amount of time we spent on it, like 30 minutes at the bar working on it, it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> they got the little drones going around. Check it out. Pretty funny. We were driving up the interstate. You know, I, I'm running the black flag right now. I think we've been running that since like November. <laughs> Some gave away to, to challenge me. It's pretty funny. lost track how many different schools we've been to but let's see how indoctrinated these kids are I think Frederick Community College probably takes the cake of like the most retarded for sure <laughs> but well, we're out here in Bowling Green Ohio educating people about what's going on in Piqua, Ohio. Because Bowling Green State University thinks it's okay to fucking burn a whole bunch of batteries and shit. Because, you know, let's educate people. But then let's also kill people for money. Super smart, right? They're going to educate people and fucking kill people at the same time. I wonder, if, are they using the tuition money to kill off the society? That's a good question. That, that is generally a good question. I wonder if all these kids know that their tuition money is going to funding the killing of society by burning lithium-ion batteries. Like, who the fuck wants batteries burned? That's pretty shitty. Bowling Green State University wants batteries burned. I guess they're pretty shitty. Just to recap for you guys, we're in Bowling Green, Ohio, because Bowling Green State University thinks it's okay to burn lithium-ion batteries because they're fucking retarded. Hey, come get a great education here. Let's burn some lithium-ion batteries. Hey, Gage and Randy, what's going on, bro? We're at Bowling Green State University educating people because Bowling Green State University doesn't educate people for shit. They think burning lithium-ion batteries is a great idea. You know, wine just kicked the camera. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Gage and Randy, good to see you. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can do a better educational lesson today than what all the tuition money does. Oh, I just fucked the camera up, so that won't be me. <laughs> oh my god, look, the little drone. <laughs> look at the beep, beep, boop, boop. Look at it. That's so cool. I saw one where it was like trying to cross the street. It's pretty interesting. 
What's up, guys? What's going on? You feel like donating to the Ronald McDonald House? Uh, no. No? I donate enough of my time. <laughs> okay. Uh, Do you guys think burning lithium-ion batteries is a good idea? Yes or no? Simple as that. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not commenting. All right. Good enough. We're, we're pleading the fifth. Yep. All right. Well, Bowling Green State University thinks it's a great idea to burn lithium-ion batteries. So okay. That's where your tuition money's going. Cool. Yep. It's real cool. Take it easy, guys. Yeah, you have a great one. Yep. Hey, you have a great So, how's the weather today, Dan? Hey, man, it's pretty good. The man. weather's great. <laughs> Just loving Jimmy Buffett. Yep. If you could please stop recording us, that would yeah, be nice. Yeah, that'd be great. Ow. Right, now I'm just going to keep recording you. All right, guys, so once again, we're at Bowling Green, Ohio, at Bowling Green State University. What's up, yeah, Super? It's time to cook up a parlay. Yeah. What's up, Super? Yeah, I know, right? Idiots, pay attention, your tuition money. Yep. I we got Super 23, we got Liv at Cajun Randy, we got Lou, we got oh, everybody's up in this hey, motherfucker. Hey, Lou. Good to see you. All right, is there a little battery in the phone? There is. There is. But we're not burning it, you know? But you don't know anything about them, right? That's what you said earlier. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, we'll, we'll educate you better than your tuition money does. <laughs> but we're not talking small batteries. We're talking 40,000-pound industrial batteries, you know? And, like, batteries that are in Teslas and things like that. But, but hey, that's okay, right? For educational purposes. Hey, I don't, I don't really want to watch uh, college kids on a tutor tire. That's okay. The viewers yeah, they do. Have, they, have, uh, they have tricycles, too. The future they lives on show. Totally infan- agree. Is this Gen Z or who is this? The infantilization of adults? Right. Well, thanks for, you too. Thanks for supporting and killing the environment, guys, with your tuition money. Thank you. We got Mr. Crybaby right here. Oh, yeah. No expectation of privacy in public. First Amendment rights. <laughs> Thank you. Why are you beefing with kids trying to raise money for children? I'm not. I'm trying to educate you that your tuition money is going to kill the environment by burning 40,000 pounds of lithium ion batteries. Whose fault is it? Yours. Nope. Speak up. It's Get educated. Fault? Yeah. Get educated on what your school is doing to the environment. They're so killing it's just, it's people. It's the school, not us. How are they killing yeah, people? so get educated on what your tuition money is going to. So who do we have to complain to? The school. Who? The school. Ask. <laughs> Keep making yourself look like a fucking idiot, dude. Hey, these dipshits don't care about crimes against humanity. Let's right. go. That's okay. They're drinking the water anyway. They'll learn in five years when they get the cancer. I'm sorry for drinking water and staying hydrated. Get, dude, get educated because the water is literally toxic. Fluoride in it and stuff. No, it's not. It's not fluoride. It's dioxin shit. Look, guys. Ignorance on display right here. This is where the tuition money is going with these fucking lips. Hey, great to see you too, Care. How are you, bro? Kids admit to being cattle. 100%. I do this for a living. Exposing morons like you. <laughs> uh, I don't know, guys. I think this one's way better than Frederick College. What's up, guys? Bowling Green State University burning 40,000 pound lithium ion batteries. That's a great idea, right? The the mini, the mini little Karens are already on their phones going, Wah, wah. You can't record me or film me. Wah, my feelings. <laughs> Fuck your feelings. <laughs> This is a nice little university, though. Would be a shame if all the grounds get toxified by all the burning of the lithium-ion batteries. Because, right. you know, that's a great idea. Exactly. Look, Wood County Green Party. Ecological wisdom, grassroots democracy, social justice, nonviolence. I wonder if they support burning lithium-ion batteries. I don't think so. I think that's... I think she knows them. No nukes, no coal, no wind, no solar. Yeah. No nukes, no coal, no wind, no... Yeah. Stop camera me. Yep. All right, guys. So again, for those of you just joining us, we're at Bowen Green State University, educating people, 
better than the school is because, you know, Bowling Green State University thinks it's a great idea to burn hey, 40,000 pounds of lithium ion batteries. Hugs. Good to see you. Yeah, these are crimes against humanity. Uh, the, uh, the air and the water. This, this, these lithium burnt, uh, batteries being burned by the Miami River going into the Ohio River, going into the Mississippi River. This is serious shit. It's toxic as fuck. Stay tuned, guys. We had a special rabbit investigation on the subject. We have, like... Testimonial after testimonial after testimonial after testimonial about all of the bullshit that's happened because BGSU thinks it's a great idea to find lithium ion battery burning destructive thermal runaways. Let's burn everything, let's toxify the water, let's fucking kill everybody for profit. Right? That's what we're doing. Alright. So let's help chat here. We'll flip your guys around and hang out with you a little bit. Good, how are you? Good. Beautiful day. Yes, it is. All right. Let's see what's going on. How are you? Harlan County. Harlan County. That sounds super familiar. Where have I heard that? Oh, yeah. A bunch of tyrants out there, right? Hmm. How's it going out there, guys? Nothing like liberal geniuses. Yep. Yep. Liberal geniuses. Got a liberal genius right here walking by. So we are out here just educating people because the tuition money goes to the fire program here and all that shit. Yeah. Hey, Brandon. Brandon's in the house. Brandon, Brandon. Hello. If you guys have not seen this morning's video, check it out. It's a commissioner last night showing his full ignorance and he gets uh, totally blasted for being a fuckface. You're going to like that one. It's been about 30 yeah. minutes working on that at the bar. It's a little masterpiece. Night. I think for the amount of time we put into it, right. it's a pretty good fucking video. It's funny. There's some funny moments. Yep. Yeah, this is definitely not a rabbit environment. Like with the, you know. You know. Hey, Joe Cool. Much hey, love. Joe. We're at BGSU in Ohio, Joe. So, uh, Joe. and we were in Piqua, Ohio. Joe, uh -huh. can you email me? At, I don't know if, you, if you're up for emailing and stuff, but if you're here, can you email me at rabbit hole news, all one word, at Outlook, any of the mods? Can you drop that email? Rabbit hole news at Outlook. Yeah, Joe. Com. Yeah, Joe, we, we, why not really want to speak with you, like off camera and stuff? So if you can, if anyone can get that to Joe Cool, Joe, if you, if you want to spend like 30 seconds and shoot us an email just so we can get in touch with you, that'd be great. But otherwise, guys, for those of you just joining, we are in Bowling Green, Ohio, at Bowling Green State University. Why are we here, you may ask? Well, it's not because pussy is just fantastic and there's so much pussy around that I need to come down here and spend my care. No, it's because the Bowling Green State University Fire School, or whatever the fuck they want to call it, thinks it's a great idea to fund lithium ion burning battery research. Okay, now, hello. Overall, that may be a great idea because we need to learn more about all this stuff and everything and people are going to be driving around at fucking bombs. However, don't burn the fucking batteries right next to a water source of a local town. For five years, they have ramped up. 40,000 pound industrial batteries are now being burned 150 feet away from a local water source. We have high levels of cancer, mysterious rashes. Hell, we've been there for three fucking yeah, days. Yeah, children are coming. And they, so Pick, the city of Piqua has a contract with Bowling Green State University. And they're calling it fire training, and they're they're burning these batteries near the Miami River that's going into the Ohio River that's going into the Mississippi River, and uh, it's so toxic. The residents there are already getting sick. Their kids are getting sick. It's and egregious. Bullshit, it's a crime against humanity. We've been there less than a week, and we're already feeling some shit. My throat already feels fucked up from these people. Come on. So we've been, you know, she's exposed to it way more than I have. I've taken my own self-discipline, but there's already some. So. Stay tuned for our expose on all that stuff. Oh, and the yeah. ignorance here is just unbelievable. But it, it's, and I've guys, conducted like 20 interviews and talked to so many people in this town. I cannot wait for uh, you guys to see these interviews of what these people are going through. <coughs> hey, Harlan. What? Citizens Broadcasting Cooperative. Hello. 
Stop burning lithium ion batteries for profit. It is destructive research killing the environment. That's the other thing too. People's pets are already getting cancers. Um, they're, uh, almost everyone I talked to and interviewed, their pet had died. I mean, it's, it's scary shit. Oh my God. Guys, look at this shit. Hold on. How do I? Look, you saw the one behind me. Look, the drones. The drones are everywhere. <laughs> that one just did a little hop. This is wild. This is how lazy fucking society is now. These fat motherfuckers need to use drones. Get out of fuck you fat fucks. Look, I mean, look at me. The rabbits walked around, protested so much around hey. the country. I've lost so much weight. Jeez. Hey, I actually, I, I need to walk. Yeah, so lion fatty. <laughs> I'm just oh kidding. She's beautiful. But she does need to get out and walk a little bit I more. need to walk The more. weather's been so shit. I've been in a car too much yeah. the last two weeks. I've been in a car. We've been so shit. All right, good morning, everybody. How are you? We're in Bowling Green, Ohio, at Bowling Green State University, educating people because the tuition money here is going to funding lithium ion battery destructive research. Because, yeah, let's fucking burn 40,000 pounds so of lithium ion battery. They're taking right? these batteries to other cities. He's your friend. That oh dreaded rabble rouser. Oh my goodness. Good to see Please you. Please stay around. We need to speak with you for a second. We have some fans of yours. You, you have some fans. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Oh man. <sighs> that just got me so distracted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. anyway, guys, we're just out here because, you know, it's a great fucking idea for all the. It, overall, it made oh, me a great idea. Oh, he said he got the idea. wrong email. Uh, uh oh. Let's see. Do I, um, one of the mods, I think, has got it. I think or one of the mods got it. Website. Uh, website. The rabbit.info. Uh, the rabbit.info, you can leave a, uh, a message and we'll be able to connect. You guys can connect. So, the dreaded Bible browser, Dr. Justin Spees. For those of you who don't know, you're probably sitting under a rock. If you're under a rock, let us let Patrick Starr know that we say hello. But if you don't know who the dreaded rabble rouser is, Dr. Justice Sub Bees. to the dra- dreaded rabble rouser. Oh, Doc- sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Justice Bees out in Lawrence, Kansas. He's got three federal lawsuits on the books. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Piggy alert. He's got three uh, federal lawsuits on the books right now. But. Okay, yeah, leave it leave it somewhere like you know, where it's hidden if you want it hidden and stuff like that. We'll we'll see it very quickly. Um, he's got some stuff, so coincidentally enough, Dr. Justice Bees' lawsuits are the same thing that the citizens of Piqua are dealing with. So the citizens of Piqua absolutely love Doc Holy shit, I just realized that they got owls in there. Thank fucking god I'm not wearing the rabbit outfit. <laughs> I just knew it wasn't, yeah, okay. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there's a little piggy right there, spotted. Yep, we spotted, and we spotted. Okay, so, the people of uh, Pickle, Ohio, are really, really supporting you, Dr. Justin. They love what you're doing. They're using all of the stuff you're putting out, actually, as um, basis grounds for research for their lawsuits and things like that. So, we wanted to ask you if you would be willing to spend two to three minutes and maybe make a short video just shout outing the people of Piqua because they love you. A lot of the women here are calling you Dr. Hottie. So that is now your nickname. I will be calling you Dr. Hottie because I think it's absolutely fantastic. So Dr. Justin Spees is now (laughs) Dr. Justin Hottie Spees. We we didn't make that up. We did not make that up, but they would love to just hear from you. Uh, We know it is super far from you, so asking you to drive up here is out of the question. However, if you could spend a couple minutes of your awesome time to just shout out the people of Piqua, maybe call the commissioners here a bunch of pussies and stuff, because let's face it, they are a bunch of pussies. They're tyrants. They're tyrannical. This is North Korea. The regime is oppressive. They're throwing people in jail for minuscule code violations. If you speak up and... They will retaliate against you in every facet they know how. They'll kick you out of a, a meeting. They'll trespass you from city grounds. They'll use code enforcement to harass you. They'll send animal control. It's out of control, guys. It's fucking out of control. I don't think you understand what I'm fucking telling you here. Like the city of Piqua. Guys, I'm literally salivating. The city of Piqua is fucking prime. 
auditing territory oh, right auditors, now. auditors, they, uh, they've asked uh, us to connect them with anybody in this community, in the 1A community, uh, activism community, to please come and help them. Uh, no one's coming. Or if, and, if, and we if need, no one wants to come and They need audited badly. Just share it out. They, any, any dissenting opinions that people uh, have during meetings, they've trespassed the people, not for six months, not for a year, but indefinitely forever. So we need to make sure, and they have, and four people have a lawsuit going right now, um, but they've intimidated the community and we need to make sure that uh, these people know we the people, and if, if the auditors in the Midwest, East Coast, in the South, anybody close, or far away, see to Shining Sea could come to Piqua. That's what they're asking. It's basically for. free money. And, they are, and if anybody can um, <laughs> post a panel or an interview, we have someone who, uh, when you understand the issues, uh, that, that's really what they'd like. The, the word getting out what's happening in their communities. And uh, the only way I know to do that is to reach out to y'all, see if we can get that done. It, it, it's basically free money. We're not lawsuit hounds, but somebody who is, fuck. God bless you. Here's your sign. Literally. <laughs> but they would love to hear from Dr. Justin. Just basically calling him out. Yeah, they're a fan. They like his no clapping video. Your love no clapping it. video. So... Because they are told here that they are not, allowed, not allowed to clap, to clap. at all. <laughs> and, and just again, uh, yesterday, uh, there was more viewpoint discrimination where they gave uh, several people more minutes to talk. And the guy that uh, has a dissenting, dissenting opinion and constructive feedback, uh, they only allowed five minutes. So they definitely are partial to the bootlickers and to the people who... Um, Sing their praises during meetings. Oh my god, the, the drone's coming right at me, guys. Don't move. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Huntington. Hey, Chris. Hey, Tommy. It's right there. I'm like so close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us, guys. It's uh, it's not really a bunch of stuff going on. We're just doing this in case one of the, the lip tarts here wants to be a lip tart, you know. So we'll have a camera on. It's <sighs> probably plug in the plug in the phone, right? Might be advantageous. How long are we going to be on campus today? I think four hours. Don't quote me. Don't ever quote me. Quote me if you want. Who the fuck cares? Who's going to call the rabbit? Four hours, I believe. But then we we're going back. You're going to keep working on vidges. I think we got a, we got a good video coming. I don't know if this is charging. Yep. Okay. That's charging. Okay. So what's going on here in the chat? Oh. Hi. How you doing? You guys, you guys see yourselves? <laughs> uh, so thanks for joining us, guys. It's kind of a kind of a low key. So yeah, I need to uh, I need to actually pull that link down. We pull that link down, so no worries on that one. Look at the liberals behind me. Right. Nope, no boogers. Okay, thanks. I'm trying to keep it pretty clean. Thanks for checking for me. We'll have to check the ears next. You know, the, the rabbit gets all that stuff in the ears. So, for those of you who just joined us, we're here at Bowling Green, Ohio, Bowling Green State University, because the Bowling Green State University Fire Program thinks it's a great idea to burn 40,000 pound lithium ion batteries for a re purposes next to a water source. Raw, three water, three raw water sources. They're only supposed to to burn organic material if they do any fire training, 
and uh, they're polluting. So the permits, water. the permits for the initial fire training were small scale, small scale in a lab setting. Nope. Let's fucking burn them out in the open next to a fucking levee, which is right next to a river. Great idea, right? How's it going? I just want to know what you guys are like doing, what you guys are okay, so, um, The city of Pickwa has a contract with BGSU um, for fire training, and they're burning 40,000 pounds of lithium batteries. What, like, they, they, that's there what is the, no fire training. So the public, there's been a lot of public records requests. Do you know how to do those? This is public information, so if you okay. request it, you can get it from the local government. It's as simple of making a phone call and being like, hey, my name is yeah. either Good Citizens, I want this record so, or all that. But, yeah. They're doing it at an old water treatment facility. They're bringing these batteries instead of actually doing fire training. And, it, and it's next to three raw water sources. And it's going to the Miami River, into the Ohio River, into the Mississippi River. It has contaminated the water of the city. There is a high rate of cancer in kids. Every age getting cancer. Every I've done 20 interviews and Got a back. lots of off the record interviews. Pretty much everyone's pet has died in the last year. They got open sores, cancer, different things. So all because they're drinking this water. Well, if you bathe in it, there's transdermal. Anything that's in city water, like fluoride, it, it's trans. So it's getting into our system. It's like yeah. Going mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and it's um, all in the ground. It's why, everywhere. Why are they doing this? And Where is the burning happening? The burning is happening in Pickwa. Okay. Their contract okay. with um, and how GSU. Far is that? It's about an hour and a half south. An hour and a half south. Okay. So it's not I'm around here. That that's why they're they're sending it down there. Gotcha, gotcha. But they're. This is an accredited fire. They're burning it right here. And the river's right here. Yeah. Yeah. And we have we have like so much material. Where the, we're not talking small batteries. We're talking batteries that will fit this whole pad. Yeah. Millions of dollars are being paid to the city to burn. And um, they didn't tell anybody. The mayor. Nobody informed the residents and all that stuff. And, uh, Right, but it's it's more than that. That's just what the surface layer is. Peeling back the layers, it's when people want to speak out. They're arrested for their free speech. Yeah. Yep, they don't, all this, all the typical pay. stuff that you yeah, see now, course, right? Yeah. All in one spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what's going on. But we're here today because the fire program here is the ones funding it. So we're just spreading awareness. So everybody's tuition and tax dollars are funding this. Yeah, so your money I to the school is funding. It. <laughs> I went here one semester and then I went to Cuyahoga Community College. Where are you, are you from that area? Where? Are you from like the Cuyahoga area? No. Oh, okay. Because I live all similar ish. Oh, I lived They're in Cleveland. The drones are back. Oh, okay. I'm from like Lorraine County. I lived on the corner of uh, Euclid and Covington. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, um, hey, Howard County. I, what's going on, bro? I was familiar with Lorraine. Mm -hmm. um, so I worked in that area. Okay, yeah. Uh, history, video, been all over, and, um, yeah, this is really, yeah. really it, it's, bad, it's pretty bad. Crimes against humanity, yeah. and there is a paper trail, and it is about money. It is oh, not, of course it is. It's about money. So everyone heard what happened in East Palestine, right? With the fucking oh, train. This, is, this right. is as bad as that. This is bad and worse, and the citizens there are more concerned about the citizens of Piqua because this has been going on for five years. Since 2000. No one has said anything about it. 18, but the fire <laughs> permit was in 2017. So all those years, no one knew what was going on. They could see a little bit of it, smell it. Um, we should see the pictures of some of the rashes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty bad. But, yeah, so long story short, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so, if you guys watch YouTube at all, we're on YouTube, and we drove up from North Carolina you, to cover it. you guys, like, call, so is your, like, call something, or? Yeah, if you yeah. look up uh, the Benghazi Rabbit on YouTube. Okay. Benghazi. Benghazi. Mm -hmm. No, and uh, I'm, it's the only one. We'll be putting out <laughs> uh, about an hour-long video. 
So skip on down the road. That's actually the reason they're doing it. However, that, that's, that's an okay reason, right? However, the problem is the location in which they're doing it. Right? On, on the surface, it seems like, okay, this is great. We need to figure out why these batteries are doing it. Best way to put them out. Which way of putting them out won't be as detrimental to people both putting it out and all this that and the other and the cleanup right that's fine however when it comes to this shit, yeah, on this no, yeah, like, under the surface is are you, gonna, where, are you gonna, where are you gonna burn it where are you gonna do this research who's gonna clean up this research is it what's the local situation going all these different compounding factors into one to make a giant mass of shit thrown onto the wall that is the city of Pickle right so, you're burning these batteries for this research purposes, this fire training. Educate people, because I'm telling you, I didn't have a freaking clue about any of this somehow. So. Batteries right here. here river is right here. Batteries here, river here. Batteries here, like, come on, guys. Yes, I do realize that, Skip. But do you realize that? That burning a concentrated uh, amount of chemicals over 40,000 pounds down to ashes do, like, in, in a residential uh, area. Are you that fucking mundane and inside yourself that you think that's a good idea? You want to kind of pawn off and saying that all these millions of cars have the same effect? Are you fucking kidding me? Bro. Wait until you see the overview video. I don't think you're understanding. How big this is. I'm with you if you're thinking that we're on a small scale. These fires were massive, dude. I don't even know Massive. The explosions from these fires, military veterans had PTSD events after it because it reminded them just like the Howard's was going on. The same exact thing, like all these things. The research purposes are great. Don't do it in a residential area next to the local water source. The, the lake, the river. The river's right here, there's a lake. Like The residents were telling us that there was the fucking smoke was setting over the water in the morning. Like, the sheep. Yeah, I was literally just yeah. about to say that because I was literally about to say because the smoke from these batteries in the morning was sick because all the heavier metals and stuff and the smoke. And then after that, all the residents were shows. You could still see it. The chemical sheen and all that stuff and the froth. and It's ridiculous. Yeah. I was literally about to cue into that as you were saying that. <laughs> but that's that. All that stuff's happening. You know, there were um, Ford Mad Okay. The reason for the battery burning, like I said, their reason is for fire training. The reason is for fire training. However, there were no firefighters at the site conducting any training. There was no one at the site conducting any training. The reason they put on paper is bullshit. I totally am with you. When it's just... Oh, dude, DuPont? Yeah, DuPont is fucking yeah, crooked as shit. Uh, 
was a little bit of wind picking up, guys. Sorry about the wind noise. Let's see if I can block it. Can I block the wind? Rah! No, I can't. Sorry, guys. Hey, generally specific, brother man. Damn, I should have did a stream yard so I could have you guys come up. Maybe I should end it and do a stream yard so we could all hang out. Oh, but then I couldn't hear you guys. Eh, I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Okay. All right, everybody. Hashtag lose a fat ass. Lose a fat ass. All right, we got another piggy spotted. Oh, I didn't even realize Hatsu was staring me down. The EPA was staring me down. <laughs> That's the EPA right there, guys. That's who was staring me down a few minutes ago. Fuck no, the EPA is doing a horrible job. <laughs> okay, really, thanks, man. Um, yeah, kind of just fucking around, hanging out. Normally, we don't go live. But figured why not? Because we may be here a while. Love your mustache, man. So I hope everyone's having a great morning. The Bible study this morning was fantastic, generally specific. So thank you for that. Let me get away from that so I don't get his information on the camera. I'm trying to exchange information. I don't want to get his. So. There's a thing behind me. There's a thing. What the fuck is that? Those guys on the seesaw were pretty fucking lame. I don't know if you guys saw it. We're here for it when we were walking up, but we need to go back. <laughs> Those guys out there on the fucking seesaw. <laughs> ah, that was pretty good. Oh, if you guys are here for that, come on, tell me that wasn't funny. Tell me that wasn't funny. I was <laughs> inside. I was kind of sick, really dying. Uh, Oh, uh, dude, I'm not. I'm not worried about copyright at all. Fuck it. No one can keep a good rabbit down. No one can stat me. Although I do want to move around because my knees starting to walk up a little bit. I don't want to get too close. I. Can you imagine if I came up here wearing my uh, my rabbit outfit and the owls came at me? Ooh, yeah, it's like... So, um, who wants to have a poll on how easy it would be to snatch the pew 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 out of that holster? I think that it would be very easy. The situational awareness seems to be abysmal. That someone could easily go up if they had nefarious intentions and do something very bad. But, yep, that's what's what in this America. Because law enforcement officers think it's a... Oh my gosh, I didn't realize you were holding a snake. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> That is so cool. Oh, because, you know, let's have unretention holsters and stuff. Does Crow eat rabbit? I don't want to find out, Oklahoma. Why would you ask that? Why are you trying to put the rabbit in a situation? It's not very cool. All right, guys, so uh, do excuse me. The wind is kind of brewing up a little bit. You may see the camera shaking around, so I do excuse the wind noise. If there is any wind noise, if there's not any wind noise, well, go ahead and suck a carrot. Maybe I wanted there to be wind noise. Good 
Put your talons off the pick wire. The pick wire. The pick wire. Alright guys, we are wearing the Eat Pussy It's Organic shirt, you know. I gotta get the other shirts up. We're gonna do Suck a Cock, It Rocks. That's another one that's going up. <laughs> it's pretty good. Dead snake is not a leash. Find it. Throw it in jail. Oh, they're walking away. All right. No acorns. No acorns spotted as of yet. But if you guys haven't seen it, be sure to check out the video. We put it out this morning early to make sure that the commissioners saw it before they went into work. It is a masterpiece. We spent about 30 minutes at the bar last night putting it together, and it's fucking, I think it's pretty good. I really do. I think it, I, I think it is Pulitzer Prize winning material. The, the investigative reporting in that meeting that we put out is just, it's top notch. I think I could win a fucking Nobel Prize, guys. I really do. I really do. Yeah. I'm a vegetarian as well. Um, it is a lifestyle that I chose a long time ago. The vegetarian gods have blessed me with a wonderful palate for such. So thank you for them. It just, I love to lick up all them juicy, juicy sauces. So thank you guys for hanging out. We are in Bowling Green, Ohio at Bowling Green State University. It is backwards, so... Knowledge. Oh my God. Yeah. So we're here at Bowling Green State University because the Bowling Green State University Fire Program thinks it's a great idea to burn lithium ion batteries next to a river like that feeds into the Mississippi River. And the whole town checks out. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Now, this, uh, the battery burning is suspended at the moment. Now, segue. They want to burn pallets. Okay. Who's going to inspect those pallets to make sure that they're not treated with methyl bromide? Because you can burn certain pallets, right? We know that. But if you see a pallet that says NB, or if you're in, like, Europe, and it's got, like, EUR, and, like, I think it's, like... I'm not going to say what the other one was. Don't burn those, right? Come on, man. Nah, fuck it. I'm wrong. Just fucking burn it up. Burn the fucking thing down. Right? No, but seriously, don't burn pallets that say MB on it because it means methyl bromide. They've been treated with methyl bromide. Okay, now there's some people that be like, well, the methyl bromide is probably evaporated by now out of the wood and all of that stuff. But still, you, should, you really still shouldn't burn it. Just be careful with pallets in general when you burn them because you really don't know what was on that pallet. So just do you, do you, boo boo. I don't fucking care if you get cancer. Who cares? I don't know. You ain't gonna die for me if you get cancer. I'm just gonna laugh at you and say <laughs> it's your fucking fault. But anyway, everything gives us cancer nowadays. So I mean, that's our own fucking fault, right? For being free Americans and an unwitting participation that is our lives. So we got all the good tarts walking by. Hello. How are you today? But yeah, it, it's pretty much what's going on. Hey, Kate Fitz, how's it going, guys? So yes, Bowling Green State University is in favor of killing the planet $20 million at a time because all that juicy tuition money is just going to go to burning with you, my batteries. We've got the EPA guy behind me. EPA. Hey, do you guys remember the Simpsons movie? EPA. EPA couldn't figure out what it was. What was it? I think it was Grandpa Simpson. That's a pretty good movie. This guy supports lithium ion battery burning. He works for the Environmental Protection Agency. It's just, it's like, it's just hysterical because it's like, let's get him in frame here. Here's me, not an environmental activist, 
or honestly give a fuck about the environment. I live in the mountains in North Carolina with a lion. We have a lion stand and rabbit hole. We take care of our own shit. Why do I gotta worry about someone else's shit? These people behind me are the ones supposed to be caring about things, right? They're the ones who get paid. Why am I out here advocating for environmental protection when the Environmental Protection Agency is not saying a fucking word? In fact, they have supported the permitting process of lithium-ion battery burning. We have the records to prove it. Please wait for our overview expose. I just fucking slapped the camera with this. That's how offensive this shit is. Even the fucking sign is taking the camera down. Camera of mass destruction. So that's what's going on here, guys. Environmental Protection Agency behind me. Doesn't want to do a fucking thing. So instead, I'm out here advocating for the environmental protection because the agency assigned to the environmental protection is not doing the agency stuff. Bureaucracy at its finest, right? Let's just people watch for a minute. Flip around. So, guys, oh, look at that. We got new sign holders. Okay, again, for those of you just joining us, we're in Bowling Green, Ohio, at Bowling Green State University because Bowling Green State University thinks it's okay to burn 40,000 pounds with the Amaya batteries. <gasps> And those guys right there, the EPA said it's okay. Don't trust China. China is his who. Don't trust China. China is his who. Yo. Were you over there with the tripod with my Natita Totter a little while ago? Yeah, like... Man, you were uh, harassing my fraternity? Wasn't harassing you shit. You were harassing me? That shit's lame as fuck, man. Fuck your fraternity. Fuck you and fuck your feelings. Yeah, fuck your feelings fuck you. and fuck your gay fuck ass you. fraternity. <laughs> you guys gonna go suck each other off later? Hey, 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 don't worry about like y'all What's his fraternity? Here bothering us. Don't worry about me, man. Don't come over here bothering us, man. We're over here doing a good cause. Good, stuff, then man. go fucking suck each other off. Don't come back over here. <laughs> Whatever that burning, you're gonna burn that hell. Bye bye. Bye bye, fag fag. Amendment yeah. What's going on? Oh, fraternity gay boy over there like the sucky sucky the cocky cocky. Don't trust China. China is asshole. Don't trust China. China is asshole. There you go, generally specific. No. Hey, Daniel, no. hey, say that shit to my face. No. Say what? that shit to my face. What, you what that you're gay? Yeah, no, say that I'm a pussy to my face. Say you're a pussy. Say that I'm a pussy to my face. Hey, what, hey, you're stop pussy? Say that shit to my face. Say you're a pussy. You're a bitch. Fucking hands yourself. Stop. He spat in my face. Y'all saw that. Stop it. He spat in my face. He spat in my face. Y'all saw that. His face Hell, nope, hit. nope. Y'all you better get the fuck face. away from him before I oh, rock what? you, fucking. Hey. Yeah. He spat. He spat in my face. Stop it. Walk away, motherfucker. Yourself. What? Ha! Stop. You better walk away right the fuck now. You better walk. You keep your hands to yourself. Uh, you apologize? Stop. Right. You apologize? Why'd you assault me? Stop insulting him. Fuck away. Keep your Fuck hands away. off of him. Walk away. You pathetic little pussy ass bitch. You got smacked on camera, gang. Yeah, I did by a little bitch. Walk away, motherfucker. You and your stupid ass faggot fraternity. You are a fucking pussy. Exposed for being a pussy ass bitch. Cry more, you faggot. You fucking right, fraternity stop. faggot. Stop. Yeah. 
Punch me again. See what fucking happens to you. Shut the fuck up. Fucking faggot. I don't know what that was about. Alright everybody, Bowling Green State University. There you go. Bunch of fucking Nazi faggots here. Alright. So let's wait for the police to show up. And let's file a report on this little, little fucking faggot. Make sure we get him walking away so we know where he goes. So I'm getting this on camera. Let's see what kind of stupid ass fucking... Is your body cam running? Yes, we got a body Alright everybody, pull pull up the Bowling Green State University Police Department information. Start calling in. You all saw it firsthand right there. Call it in. He's playing victim now. Mm -hmm. He thinks he's a victim. We have witnesses and we have them sending videos. Yeah, he's spitting your face. Yeah, he spit in his face and he hit him in his face a bunch of times. We have it on camera. Get the other camera. I was just pushing I don't have it. How's it going, man? Good. I'd like to file charges with him for assault. He hit him in the face a bunch of times unprovoked. I just got here. I have no idea what's going on. It's okay. We're going to have videos. Yeah, yeah. We're live so, right now. What's your fine. What's your name and badge number, please? Lieutenant Neymar. We don't know badge numbers. Okay. Do you have a card? Yeah. Thank you. Is your body cam on? What's that? Is your body cam on? It is. Okay. Yeah. So Thanks. just tell me what happened first. Because like I said, I just got here. Okay. All right. We are conducting a constitutionally protected activity here. Yeah. Advising and aware. Mm -hmm. Peaceable. Giving people awareness. Yeah. That's what this gentleman wants to come up and has upset feelings that his fraternity brothers were harassed over our free speech by walking okay. through. He exchanges words and walks away. I keep expressing my expressive speech. He comes yeah. back, gets in my face. Okay. Gets right up in my face, headbutts me. Okay. Where do you hit you at? Your nose or up there? Headbutts okay. me with his forehead. Okay. Spits in his face. I spat in my face. So I coughed. Okay. With spit returning. Okay. As you see, I'm still salivating. Yeah. Then Where'd he, the spit hit you on your face? Uh, probably. Everywhere okay. I sprayed. And he hit him in the head. He was holding this and just talking, and he hit him in the head a bunch of times. Is that, is that all that on camera? It's still yes. live as well. We're so, live. And then he proceeded to punch me in the face once. Okay. Right here. So then he backed up. I'm not trying to touch you. I'm no, you're fine. Extending. He backed yeah. up. I continued to press forward to him. He got back in my face. I feigned a strike to him mm -hmm. to see his response. Yeah. He went over and then I grabbed him by the shoulder, brought him close. Okay. Body hugging him. At that point, he extended his arms. I asked him to apologize to me twice. He refused. Okay. At that point, I heard sirens coming up. I, I grabbed him for my protection as well, and the protection yeah. of the people in Absolutely. the vicinity because they know what's going on. Sure. I'm prepared to take more hits if need be. Sure. At that point, I heard sirens approaching, so I let him go and pushed okay. him away. Where did this happen at? Because when I left, you guys were over there. Same so. Okay. All right. Same All right. Give me just a comment. I'll back. Yes, okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Still so, am. We're live. Well, no, right no, now. Not, not me. When this whole thing happened, we, we still are. Can we're showing it. We are live to the world right now. Are you able to uh, let me review yes. it though, just so I can see what? All right, happened? everybody, stay tuned. We'll be right back. And this pen too. 
Okay. Yes, uh, my vehicle is. I can get your name, date of birth, and I'm not worried. Beautiful. Um, I would like to say, I don't know if you've ever met a Okay, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I'm sorry we had to take a short live stream there. I had to show the lieutenant here the footage that we had. So thank you for hanging out with us. Oh, no, you're fine. I'm talking to <laughs> No, I want this oh, no, that's fine. to be it's on still record. recording regardless. Okay, okay. So he has a company called Rescue Methods. Okay. And we'll I've seen break. invoices and work orders with Rescue Methods. Logo well, his name. It's not because that. It's so much punch in the face. Um, he brags and boasts. That he writes curriculum for Homeland Security. Um, I don't know if that he, he does or not. Um, so I call Homeland Security. Um, you know, Alright guys, now I am going to oh, give up my Fourth Amendment here to sorry, give the officer my information because I am going to see this through and my information has been published because we have been doxed numerous times so it's not like I've given anything private. They can give you a written statement, I'd appreciate it. Or they can just come and tell us that's fine. We're on uh, Southwest Corner of Education. I'm sorry, sir. If he's facilitating these contracts, um, I just feel that the money should be looking at. Where, where is this money going? Um, and um, I think that the, con the contract between the city of Piqua and Bowling Green State University Fire School needs to be terminated indefinitely. Um, I don't feel that it's good for either community. Sure. So. And I, I know nothing about how fire school operates, what they do, or anything. Yeah. That'd be something you have to go through the university fire school program. But I definitely understand your concern. But again, that's okay. I know I have no knowledge yeah. of anything that goes on right. in fire right. schools. Yeah. Yeah. Give me just a couple minutes, and I'll come back and get your name. Thank you. Thank you. All right, All right everybody. And here is the damage to my thing. My thing is torn. I want, I want to get that. Yeah, we'll get that body cam. All right, everybody. Uh, Keep posting that information if you guys were calling and stuff. We want to get this body cam from this incident, so let's go ahead. We'll get that process started. Oh, okay, everybody, we are at Bowling Green State University because we're here because the Bowling Green State University Fire School has funding lithium ion battery destructive research so we use the word destructive for reason because the way they use this is the thermal runaway process which gets the batteries to go boom oh funny enough so there's a the, the facility that i was quote unquote trespassed from if you remember that video from the other day with the city of piqua that facility that the lieutenant came out of now we've heard from different people and we do have public records now. I'm trying to make sure that this is the right building. Okay, so I'll, I'll say allegedly at this point. This alleged building. We'll say that. Okay, that building. The entities that be who did the programs there set up Wi-Fi for the office, right? <laughs> the password for the Wi-Fi? Okay, let's do, let's do a little... A guessing game. Does anyone know what the password for the Wi-Fi is? I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute. Let's see. Anybody know what the, the password for the Wi-Fi? Yeah, man. The password for the Wi-Fi would be. Okay. We got password. We got one, two, three, four. We got one, one, three, four, five, six. Okay. All great answers all great answers unicorn pass no but no it's better okay the password for the bed for the wi-fi at the battery research facility the research training and energy storage center whatever the fuck they want to call it batteries go boom <laughs> batteries go boom it's the password guys now we have the foia public records to 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 prove that. Batteries go boom. Batteries go boom. That's a pretty good password, am I right? Like, that's a pretty good password. 
Tell me you're not blowing up batteries without telling me you're blowing up batteries, if you know what I'm saying. Batteries go boom. What's the Wi Fi password for the Wi Fi at the facility? Pretty good, right? Look, here's another drone going. By. They're still over there talking to the guy. <sighs> batteries go boom. So, all in all, like I said, the, the research and the fire training is kind of a necessary thing because we need to we need to understand how to control a thermal runaway if there is such way to control it. Now I'm no fucking engineer or anything like that. I am a rabbit, and rabbits do some things. But when they induce a thermal runaway of a massive battery that's like bigger than your fucking garage. When they have to ship it in Connex containers and they're using the Connex containers and they're blowing up the Connex containers, sealed Connex containers, and the, the the doors get blown off and they sound like howitzers, it's like, woo wee. Sorry, can I see it again? That's what I'm calling people fags and calling them a pussy if they don't like my free speech, we'll fucking move to North Korea. I know, and, and I'm not saying not to because it's protected. Right. I know that. Right, so I'm not right. Well, you say intentions, and no, my intention was not that. Okay. Intention was to simply continue enjoying my day and hanging out with my wonderful community. Okay. All right, give me a minute. I'm sorry, what's your name? I haven't even asked you for it yet. Uh, White Rabbit. White Rabbit. All right, give me a second. Thanks. All right, so we went through and reviewed the video there a little bit. All right. I know bits, though. Oh, my gosh. All right, everybody. So thanks for joining us. We are in Bowling Green, Ohio at Bowling Green State University. He, the cop, asked to see the footage a little bit. So um, I tried to get it live, but there was another screen that prompted me to go live. So you guys kind of didn't hear a little bit. But he asked he was like, well, your intent was to rob him up. I was like, no, my intention was to continue to stand here and hold my sign and talk to my community. And that's why I said, I'm just a very boisterous person. I'm a loud person. I'm an asshole. Unless you can provide a bigger asshole than on campus, I'm sorry. I think we found one today. And aside from Sean Porter, you're not going to find a bigger asshole than me. Simple as that. If you don't like my free speech, well, fuck you. Go back to North Korea, you little fucking bitch. Yeah, mm, this is wait. A do you sucky sucky the cocky cocky? Oh, what are you one of them fags? I don't care. Come on. This is America, guys. This is 2024. This is not fucking, like, what happened to our country? <laughs> Jesus. I'm, I'm disturbed by that guy's lack of impulse control. I'm disturbed by Ill. Bowling Green State University burning 40,000 pound lithium ion batteries within 150 feet of a river. I don't know about you guys, but like, Lyme disease is hard enough, and they don't even know where that shit comes from. That shit's probably manufactured to do all that stuff. So what are they doing with all this stuff? Look at my sign. My sign's all ripped and everything now. Um, I mean, all these different cancers popping up out of nowhere. They will try. Probably will. I didn't know. I just said he's a fag. <laughs> I call him a pussy more than anything. Dr. Justin's fees is the best, though. So he's just looking out for us. Well, I'm sorry that my free expressive speech made him disorderly, but he needs to have impulse control. Thank you guys for being in here. All right. ID of some kind since you're the All right. Would you like to walk back to my vehicle you, with me, or can you I can give just, your name and date of birth? I can give you that. Yep. I can give you that. Or your social, whatever you want to give me, whatever's easy. I can give you name, date of birth. That'll work. Um, yeah. Okay. William. Okay. Barthel. B A R T S and Tom. H E L. Okay. 05. 08. Oh, sorry. That, that's your last name. Yeah. Barthel. What's your middle name, please? J. Yep. J A Y or just a letter? It's J. Joseph. J. The letter J. J. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. What's the date of birth? Zero five zero eight nineteen ninety. 
Now that's all public knowledge because I've been arrested numerous times for free speech and all of them have been dismissed. All dismissed? No. Victimless crimes. This isn't a victimless crime though. That guy's crazy. Thank you, sir, for your time. Appreciate you. Now, I don't mute this, Howard County, because this is all public knowledge. I've been arrested numerous times for free speech. You can look me up. <laughs> I've been, Hell, this past arrest on January 16th, the day I was arrested, the Avery County Journal decides to not only publish my full name, date of birth, but our home address. So what do we have to hide if you come to our house with foul intentions? It's going to be a bad day for you. Yeah, Dr. Justin's got it. He's on point. He sees the view from these lip tards. All right. This is a nice little campus, though. Yeah. Why? It's just checking the chat really quick. Ooh, excuse me. Alright, battery's in my pocket. We're gonna plug in here in a minute. Oh, sorry. Get out of the way. Don't obstruct people's walking path here. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, I totally get you, brother. We're okay, though. Why and I have nothing to hide. People already know where we're at. I think that guy was probably gonna headbutt me. I got in between. I haven't been headbutted in a while. I've been punched <laughs> was, in the face quite a few times. Like I said, I've done security for years. I've been headbutted. I've been kicked. I've been, you know, hey, I actually got left. stabbed in the arm once. But I'm, not, I'm just trying to think when the last time I've been headbutted was. I really am trying to think the last time. Shout out from Pacific Northwest. We got Pacific Northwest Transparency in here. Hey, oh, hello, PNW. It's Lion One. Right. I don't know if they would uh, arrest him or not, or if they would cite him and, and go because they weren't here type deal. This is uh, Dr. Justin. This is actually like uh, kind of the amount of time that we normally deal with these things. Sometimes they go super long. But uh, like Levi's, Levi's, for instance. Lori Powers, that one was pretty interesting. It is, right? How was everybody's eclipse? Did you guys have a good eclipse? I don't know about you guys, but we saw that solar flare. Woo-wee. That solar flare was really cool. There was like one at the bottom and then one off to the side. Whew. Super interesting stuff. Yes, I was gonna ask for that as well. Okay, I'll get it. Alrighty. Hello. Hi. Do you wanna know what's going on? <laughs> Do you wanna know what's going on? Sure, yeah, I'm You wanna inform her? <laughs>
Who throws a show? I mean, honestly. Dude. Yes, thank you for... Oh, my gosh. I need to download some Austin Powers movies to add to my, my library. I'm building a massive library of offline movies and stuff that I can go through. Because I have a whole, like, 8 terabyte hard drive that I need to fill up with media. That's aside from all of the random junk. So, there's just hard drives after hard drives I gotta fill up. But one of them, we wanna fill up with movies and TV shows. So, like, yeah. Free speech really pisses me, yes. Especially if you are a rabbit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I grew up watching South Park, so I like to get offended because I'm an easily offended person, so everything everybody says offends me, so I need to offend everybody because your nature is offensive to me, so therefore I need to breathe and it be offensive to you. So, so why exactly? Like, what uh, get the car back and I'm getting out with the reporter right on. Thank you so much. Sorry, take all this time for me. Okay. I didn't have a hot lunch today, so I don't mind yeah. as much. Um, in regards to your guys' FOIA, is it pretty easy to go through and get your body cams? How would we go through? So you would just contact the number that's on there, ask for records, the record supervisor can get it to you. Cool. Um, it might be a day or two because we're short and she's working midnight shift. Her, you know, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, she can get it all to you. Awesome. Thanks so much. Yep. Any other questions for me? No. Okay. No. Pretty much, uh, yes. Good for him. So you Report will be done today. It doesn't mean it'll be approved today, so same thing. We need call records. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All the camera related. Okay. Yep. Thank you so much. Right. And does that other lieutenant have a business card on him? I don't want to walk over there because... The, I'm the only lieutenant here. Oh, the other... Sorry, I see the, the collar stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, the guy in the stripe with the plaid shirt is the deputy chief, and the guy in the suit is the chief. Yeah, <laughs> so, I can ask for you. They're working something else, so I don't okay. know if they will, but I will ask. Them. Yeah, I don't want to walk over there because you know. Thanks. <laughs> okay, guys, there you go. Uh, yes, they are. Uh, it, it's just as I suspect. It's one of those because it wasn't committed in their presence type deal where he's getting cited and we're going to get it all. Yep. No, it, it is. It's one of those. It's sight and sight to summon type deals. Each state does it differently and things like that. But the deputy chief's looking over here like. You can kind of see him through the glass there. Look at me. They're both playing close, they don't have the cards, but Chief Campbell. Oh, okay. I see that. The, okay. I didn't so, see the... I, I see you're talking about it. Yes, normally. <laughs> obviously, when we're in uniform, we keep him there. Right. But, uh, I didn't Chief, see the other gentleman. They yeah. popped out. Chief Campbell. Chief Deputy Campbell. Chief Lugart. Lugart. And that, is that information available online as It well? should be on our website, yes. Go to BGSU website. and then find the public safety part of it. And it should be on there. Okay. I don't go on the website, obviously, because it doesn't pertain to much. <laughs> but, well, thank you so much. Any questions for me? No, I think you've answered. Okay. answered. We'll give you guys a call if we have any other okay. questions. All Thank right. you for Sounds protecting good. us and keeping all of the students here safe. All right, go. I'm going to... Thanks, Lieutenant. Uh, they're going to cite him. The report's going to be finished up today, and then we'll let us know. They'll let us know. And then we're, we're going to start the FOIA process for all this all this stuff. Hey, you have a blessed day. Okay, thank you. And, um, his channel is the Benghazi Rabbit. So we'll Hello, sir. How are you? Thank you. No, but he's definitely getting cited to appear. <laughs> Are we going to go? Oh, we're going to go back over to where our 
I don't know where our protest crew is. I don't know either. All right. Okay, everybody, thank you for hanging out with us. As you saw, I got attacked by a crazy liberal here at a college. I am very, very distressed and hurt over this incident. I may have to seek emotional therapy. <laughs> Guys, please send me your help. Please visit our website at therabbit.info so I can afford a mental health evaluation and get an emotional support dog. <laughs> I need your help. Yeah, but anyway, check out our website at therabbit.info. There you will check out our anonymous tip line if you have anything you want us to showcase. We also have our merch store. That's some pretty good stuff. So we're back over here at the scene of the crime, hanging out. All right. Okay, let's flip you guys around. All right, so let's catch up with the chat. Yes, 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 yes. Skip on down the road. So are some of these batteries used for stationary power storage for electrical grid? They sound too big to be EV batteries. Correct. Some of them are EV batteries. However, the larger scale batteries we are talking about are industrial sized batteries for stationary power for the grid. Yes, you are correct. For things like, uh, that may you want to be on camera? Is that all right? Yeah. No? Okay. For things that, like submarines that may Yeah, for like, like think of, uh, I'm probably wrong here, but like go past substations and shit like that. You see these big ass fucking transformer boxes and things like those big, massive fucking things. Okay. That's what we're talking about. Those are the things being burnt. We got, do you have the other phone on you? Yeah. May I see it please? Thank you, my dearest Lion. Okay, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. As you saw, I was punched in the face twice and headbutted. That was pretty cool. I kind of had to, like, sneeze on a guy because he, like, headbutted me. He might have COVID now. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to pull up. Okay. You guys see this? These are the batteries we're talking about. I can't see this right now because the fucking. Look at these. Look at this shit. We're not talking about some... Ooh, we got the one wheel. Or the unicycle. I call it one wheel. I'm an idiot. But yeah, we're, we're talking... Alright, so trying to give you guys some scale here. These things are taller than firefighters. They're twice as tall as a firefighter. So uh, hopefully that gives you guys some scale to what I'm trying to tell you here. That these are not small batteries that were burned. Um, maybe you can understand the importance. Yeah, I just, I actually just showed, do you want to see, like, the scale of what we're talking about? I just showed my viewers, because people were asking, like, what kind of batteries are we talking about here? Like, this is the type of stuff we're talking about. Like, look at this fire. Okay? Look at these. Right? And where these people are standing, taking pictures at the top of a levee, so you picture right behind them, that's where the river and the lake is that they get their drinking water from. Yeah, so it's like people think we're like batteries. No, we're talking big ass batteries. Scary shit. I, and it's the same stuff if you guys have ever heard um, when they talk about Camp Lejeune for the Marine Corps and the burn pits and stuff like that in the military. If you ever see any of that stuff online, same exact thing. Literally the same exact thing. So that's what. That's valid. 
Yeah, that's what we're here doing. And the the fire school here, the BGSU Fire School, funded twenty million dollars for the for the project for the next twenty years. So, at least my tuition is going towards something good. Killing the planet. Terrible. Yep. So that's that's why we're here today. I'm just kind of just let people know. Not that we can do anything, but that's where some of your money is going. Uh, and uh, we've been in town four days from North Carolina covering it. My wife's already sick because she's drank the local water and done all that stuff. I haven't, but she already is. So it's that serious. <laughs> Have a nice day. You guys too. Enjoy this beautiful day. God bless you guys. All right, guys. So yes, toxic pickle hashtag toxic pickle. We also we rebranded as well. Hashtag Patty Pequa. So we gave them a new branding because they were not happy with the toxic branding. So we gave them the Patty Pequa branding. I think that should do a little bit better for their marketing purposes. <sighs> okay, so Howard County Observer. Thank you for your question. Howard County Observer asks, I missed the part where they burn the batteries. What's their supposed purpose? So, hey, generally specific. So the, their supposed purposes are for fire training and research. Purposes. However, their fire training and research, there's no firemen for the fire training to have any training. So that's what they're doing. They're burning these big ass things, but they're basically just taking these defunct batteries from Tesla, Honeywell, Panasonic, all these, all these high corporations and doing thermal runaway. Yes, 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 generally specific, please do. I have, oh, dude, mm, I gotta talk to you off stream. I wanna show you, I have a four minute hook intro for my overview video, guys, that I hope and I pray that you will thoroughly enjoy because it lays out as much of it as I can. The video we're gonna do, we're gonna try and do like a 30 to 40 minute expose with all the interviews, but then we're gonna put out each and every one of the interviews for people to listen to. But yes, please, 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 please cover this situation. I'm trying to give you guys as much of insight on the backstory as I can. Also, generally specific, sir, thank you for your service. I know you're not a sir though, but you're a sir now because you're cool. Um, if you ever wanna interview any of these citizens of Pinkwa once we give you more backstory I think it would be fantastic for you to talk with them because I think you'd have some direct experience on your end dealing with some of these situations so for training and research purposes they're burning these lithium ion batteries with the plastics with all this stuff and solar related items and they're doing it within 150 feet of a body of water I've been at the burn site, guys, and you will see here in our upcoming overview video with this expose from the rabbit report that the concrete pads and stuff with which they burned, you'll see all of the remnants of the shit. You'll see where all the stuff is drained. Now think of it. How are they going to put these fucking fires out, right? They have to train, right? They need to do training, right? Oh, thank you. So they need to do training. No, thank you. Where does all this water go? Where's the runoff go? Okay, where does all this stuff go when they put out the batteries for this training? This is a protected waterway, right, Lion? This is what right. is protected water. Where does this water go for the training? Okay. Uh, yeah, they said that they were going to bring in fire departments. Oh from yes. All over the state of Ohio, that it would. Uh, they sold it as. This is going to be great for tourism. Business will be booming. Small business, hotels full. This will be great for our community. And they did no fucking fire training. And the fire training they did do, uh, they didn't even stay in the area. Surprise, surprise. Stephanie said the rabbit, rabbit the kid who's holding one of your signs, was recording. Get his contact info. Oh, well, I think you guys did. I think you guys did. Uh, she did. Yeah, okay. I wish I did. Yep. Okay, so Howard County Zero says, I'm beginning to think that the place I used to work was doing something very wrong. Why would they get mad at me for putting one of these fires out? Yep. Yep. Okay, so we, ladies and gentlemen of the jury of the court of public opinion, the court is now in session. I am the presiding honorable magistration, the rabbit. Please turn your attention to Google Maps or other satellite imagery and type in the following, if you please. 
9300 North State Route 66, Piqua, Ohio. So that's 9300 North State Route 66 into your Google imagery programs and super fabricated awesome NASA space technology to where you can like photo lobby to there's a plane going by it distracted me so type in 9300 north state route 66 in pickle ohio and you will see an old water treatment plant okay now when you're looking at that facility there's if you're looking at it from oh fuck i didn't even get the cardinal directions when i was out there well fuck i don't know if you're just doing a sky view i don't know which direction that you're looking at it but there's a dog park okay across the road then there's like a river on this side next to it and then like a spillway and stuff okay did it then dog park river over here too right then there's a business right here and the fire's like tickling the balls of the business okay so there's a business there then there's houses over here like so there's all these things and the fire's like tickling them all so we talked to a gentleman last night who works at the local business. Uh, I believe it's Hampshire Cabinet. I think so. So, you know. Um, and we spoke last night. And he told us that the one day that they were burning the, the, like the, the biggest scale burning that they had, the smoke was so bad blowing in across the street that they had to literally evacuate the business and send everyone home. Well, that's all well and good. However, the one one of the people, and actually numerous people that work in that business, they live on that same very road. So they leave one building and go 200 feet down the road to another building. They are saying that they're, you know, these people are used to country fires and stuff. So sometimes people burn rubber and some burn plastics and things like that. However, this is way, way more. Yeah. Okay, do you want to show my t-shirt? Yeah, sure. Okay. So this is Alicia's t-shirt. But I'm modeling it today. It's the only, and it's the only thing I had clean left. Yeah, we've been hitting the ground so hard here, guys. We haven't had time to hit a laundry mat or anything like, like two that. Weeks. It's yeah, crazy. guys, like what? what Lion, stress to the viewers how heavy hitting this investigative report is. Like we have been nonstop. Yeah, we've been going hard. That it's was a, that was super and stressful it, and, and emphasis. And, and, and I'm on like it. dreaming about it, and I'm thinking about it in my sleep and everything. I can't stop thinking about it. So yes, to answer your question, yes. That is, yeah, she did. Yes. So this is Alicia's shirt, and don't. don't well, no, no, no. It was so it was via the coffee, actually. It's oh, okay. Yes. So it says in solidarity with East Palestine, Ohio. UC San Diego Gollum Research stands with East Palestine, Ohio. So there's people all the way in San Diego who are who are. Um, experts about what's happening and how dangerous this shit is to the uh, public and ecosystem. Yeah, there is there is a lot to uncover, and, and on the surface you have the ecological mishandling and environmental mishandling. But once you start peeling back the layers, you have all of the government corruption and tyranny and the oppressive regime that is the commission of the city of Piqua. So yes, she did get sick from from it was from the coffee, the local coffee, <laughs> uh, and washing her hands in the local water. So you could see it on her hands and stuff. I, however, have not because I've used bottled water and have been doing my own like off grid camping situation. Because you know, I did van life before, so um, yeah, there there's a there's a difference, massive difference um, that we can see. So once she started like doing the discipline and everything, like I'm making sure that she's drinking the bottle of water that we have and going through washing our hands with our water and things like that, she's starting to see a little bit of improvements. But the, as quick of an onset as that is. And we know we take very good care of our health because we already have some other stuff to deal with. So we know when something's wrong and something's very wrong. Are you talking about with me? And yeah. we noticed it quick. Yeah, it was immediate. So we fixed that situation as best as we could. Uh, but it, it's it's like, it's that serious. <laughs> and like, I mean, she looked at me and was like, you know, did, didn't even think about it. You don't think about it in day-to-day -day life. You know, you take a shower, you wash your hands, you wash your dishes, you take a bath, you go poop, and maybe your balls hit the water in the toilet. <laughs> you know, there's different things like that that happen. You walk through a puddle. Yeah. So. Actually, I'm going to go to the 
actually we had somebody uh, discuss how they um, hi Kat put, thank you for your service thank you that they put their thank you thank you that they put their uh, feet in a stream and their their feet, their feet swell up, up within up hours within an hour of a uh, contact with the water guys like, we, the we wouldn't be here if it weren't for a reason we don't do this shit. We're not environmental people, but hey, look, white rabbit bitch is on the scene. <laughs> white rabbit bitch. Oh, and if y'all, okay, so. Yep, Stephanie gets it, rashy balls. There you go. You don't want to come to Pick Ohio because you're going to have rashy balls. We actually, a lot of, uh, no one here, if I ever ask them, have you ever seen the movie Aaron Brockovich? They say, I've never heard of it. <laughs> but we, we've seen it, and it is an excellent movie about just how uh, anybody can start doing public records requests, follow the paper trail, follow the money, and figure things out. And uh, that's what Alicia is doing here, and uh, a lot of the residents of Piqua figured it out. You know, the, go the government was trying to hide it, and they figured it out. Yep. <laughs> what they have uncovered here is beyond phenomenal. They have... Well, hell, the last... They, they're getting FedEx dumps. Look, the wind's so good, guys. Look. Look, guys. No hand. No hands. And then it falls when I turn. But look, the wind's so good, I can hold my sign up. <laughs> uh, so the last file dump that they got, you know, normally we get public records requests via email, and then they charge us however much time they spend getting the fucking emails and files together. Right? No. This public, public records request was over 600 pages physically delivered from FedEx. Like, the shit that they're uncovering here is fucking phenomenal. Oh, hey, and didn't we, we found out that the mayor is a pedophile. Not alleged, like, it, he's a pedophile. <laughs> There's no allegations about him. He's a motherfucking pedophile. Like, they, 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 got the, they got that shit to prove it, so. Watch out. Watch out. We got predators in power in Piqua. But... Oh, it's worse than Flint. It's worse than Flint. Because Flint, you know about it. They know about it. Here, what, maybe 15, less than 20% of the population know what's going on. They think that the, the people are just crazy or anything like that or, or stirring drama or hell. <laughs> they think we're here to cause some shit. Well, I mean, we are here to stir up the pot, but... <laughs> <laughs> I just like my, my boo, little yeah. scary. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it almost went full speed into that sign. Technology. Gotta love it. <laughs> that drone is seriously contemplating life right now. There's another one coming too. There's another one coming. <laughs> these fucking, these fucking drones, guys. <laughs> we gonna have a backlog. Oh, oh, yep. He's reverting. <laughs> Try to figure it out. Come on. Gotta do them algorithms. Gotta figure it out. Get the equation quantical head going. I, I could probably sit here for hours watching these drones just fuck around. Hey, stay tuned for the rabbit's new channel, Drone Watching. <laughs> Is it gonna like do anything though? <laughs> it's, it's, it's seriously. <laughs> the, the other one's like, okay, bro. <laughs> it's surreal. It's like the 
college students dressed like people did in like 1984, 1985, 1984, it's ironic, and, and uh, some of them dressed like five-year-olds from the 80s for like their class picture. <laughs> All right, well, we should probably start a timer. Well, thank goodness we're not going to monetize this live stream because this is going to be copyrighted on the ass. Oh, there's going to be a good video of it. I'm sure Generally Specific has already got the video <laughs> put together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Citizens Broadcasting Cooperative says, I was much better dressed for my class pictures than I am today. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, guys, it's 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 still there. It's 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 still contemplating its life. I don't think whoever's got that delivery might have a might have to redo their order. <laughs> I wonder how long it's gonna. I was like, no more fire, what? Yeah, the fire school is a private And we like to turn the fire and the fire and the fire and the fire Oh, great point. It's getting our data. I was yep. just confused because it was like... Yep. Hey. It's totally just like... like that makes a lot yep, more you're right. sense. Oh, sorry. That's, I thought everybody knew what was working. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Tell that to the fire school here. <laughs> And it's still there. We're just we're we're gonna keep. I'm literally gonna keep panning you guys over to it every few minutes to see if it's still there. Oh no, she's moving. She's moving it. She's helping it. She's aiding the technology. The EPA has done something. She just ruined it. She just ruined our game. So the so. Uh, uh, Guys, uh, guys, uh, help me understand what we just. So, uh, yeah, that's a good Yes, they are. They literally, the head moves. They're, they're real. No, <laughs> they're not. They're totally real. Watch the head. They're totally real. There's a lady walking around with a snake a little bit ago. They're totally real. <laughs> okay, so help me understand this, guys. Uh, uh, Actually, this is quite funny. Okay. There's a drone backlog. The drones are fucking. Look at them. There's, there's three of them over. There's four of them over there chilling, and then the fifth one's coming at you. There's literally a queue of drones over there. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my gosh, why is this so... You guys aren't understanding. You're not here experiencing this shit. There's literally a queue of drones that have food deliveries in it. And they're not moving anywhere. So the people aren't going to get their food. But God forbid they get off their fat fucking asses and walk to the store to get their fucking food. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love protesting. You can't make this shit out, guys. <sighs> My face hurt. Okay, so as I was saying before I noticed the queue of drones, the Epo lady is more concerned over moving the orange sign there that was blocking little droney drone skirt from doing his job, which even then, they're fucking all queued up over there in a line anyway. There's one, two, three, four. 
I gotta go over there and get that if they're still there. So she, you know, she moved that, but God forbid you burn a 40,000 pound lithium ion battery next to a river. No, no, that's okay. Give you a permit all day long. But hey, look, one of these little fuck faces gets stuck and she'll get off her fat ass and do her job. Hey, did you, uh, do the, uh, did you tell them about the Connex boxes? Oh, yeah, I've been telling about the Connex the, box. The doors so, blew off of them because of the explosiveness of it. So, for those of you just joining us, and for those of you still here, I'm going to do another broken record spin. We are in the city of Bowling Green, Ohio, at Bowling Green State University, basically spreading awareness that the Bowling Green State University Fire School is has a program in place for the city of Piqua to burn lithium-ion batteries and other different components and stuff for the next 20 years. Now... Uh, excuse me, there's a freedom burp there. Too much freedom being spread by the rabbit. Now, the burns that have consisted thus far that have been done have been large-scale massive burns because they have ramped things up over the past few years. There has been Connex boxes, they say, about 20-foot Connex boxes, you know, large shipping containers. I showed you guys a picture of it about 15 minutes ago or so. They were being burned and they were sealed. The batteries inside of them. You know, and then they sealed the containers and they just let it go and to the point where the doors would blow off of the containers. And one witness stated that the door blew off so far it almost went over the levee bank. Come on, guys. Like, that's the shit that we're talking about here. Unfortunately, there's not too many videos of the batteries being burned and stuff, but there's tons of eyewitness reports. We got some pictures of the different things. And we have uh, pictures of the remnants. So, yeah, that's what's going on here. Uh, I was attacked by a crazy liberal fraternity guy who likes to sucky sucky the cocky cocky. <sighs> he totally got the full Howard Stern. And he took the fucking cell for it. These kids don't even probably know how to start. Not just they listen to it. Oh my god, shit. Hey! The fact that that fucking idiot didn't de escalate, he was like all animated and gesticulating wildly in front of the police because of his feelings. I mean, he looked like he was having a full scale two year old meltdown in front of the police after it, acting like a victim. I mean, it's, it's, it's insane. Mm -hmm. But hey, two punches to the face and a headbutt for free speech. I think it's a pretty good day, right? Oh my gosh. So, what do you guys think? I definitely think he had that comment. Oh, man. I, I wanted to connect so hard with him. I really wanted to connect so hard with him, but I feigned that out, and then I just grabbed him up. Yep, because you have self-control. Yep. Hey, the one thing I did want to say is that before these activities, I said this before, uh, we pray. We pray before these activities in Jesus' name. And uh, we prayed for about 15 minutes. We got up very early this morning, and we had time to pray and uh, together. And we pray uh, by ourselves and have that fellowship with God by ourselves before all of these protests and activities. So I feel protected, prayed up. Right. Yeah. <sighs> You see that fucking word you got there? No, sir, that's just my free expressive speech I got as a free American citizen. But hey, Dave, you missed it. I got punched in the face twice <laughs> by some pussy. <laughs> hey, David. Oh, uh, yeah. We need Andy up here. Andy Cheats needs to come up here. I need his energy. Uh, apparently... When um, when uh, pro uh, when pro life people come here, uh, they try to chill speech by not the police but the students interfere with the First Amendment and try to try to uh, guys, block. Guys, the, the the drone traffic jam has escalated. They try to block uh, uh, graphic pictures of abortions, um, and they say that they put out uh, umbrellas and signs to try to block it. Um, to, because of people's feelings that they get triggered and upset by uh, uh, pro-life protests here. So that's interesting. I didn't say anything. I just gathered the information, and uh, I'll pass it along to our buddies who, uh, who may I, need to feel... I see seven drones queued up. What about you? Yeah, they're in a line. 
There is seven drones. There is seven drones. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for spending your time with us today. I know it's kind of boring. There was a little bit of excitement. We can always draw out one lip tart. <laughs> Generally specific was like, I'm amazed about Rabbit's ability to de-escalate. Dude, I fucking, I threw one and pulled it back. And the kid thought I was like, oh, pussying out. Or, no, he had a nice little facial reaction on it. And I'm like, nope. And then I just grabbed him up, bro hugged him. I was like, you gonna apologize? You gonna apologize? Hey, <laughs> generally specific, because I was in front of him. Uh, he's lucky he didn't fucking hit me, because it would have been a different scenario had that Yeah, Bowling, Bowling Green State University is funding lithium ion batteries to be burned. Now, we're not talking small batteries, we're talking 40,000 pound industrial batteries. And I can show you pictures. Did I say pussy organic? Yeah. Pussy. <laughs> That's the best diet you can be I on. love that. But yeah, so they're burning. Like, the Ready? All right. Oh my God, can I take a picture with your shirt? Yeah. I love Wait. it. I sell this shirt. I make a lot of money for this shirt. Yeah, I got you. Oh, I thought you was talking about an actual picture. Ooh. I got to make sure. There you go. Bro, cousin, we out here on some movies. Oh wait, so wait, what is this, what's this uh, camera up here? I thought you was on a YouTube or something. We are, we're live on YouTube. Alright, let me see. Wait, what YouTube? Oh shit, let me go the other yeah. way. Wait, what camera? Alright, y'all. Hey, uh, back in the game on another YouTube video. It's your girl, Elena and Yasmin. And we just here to say what up and follow us on our stuff. And we and don't play. Y'all what need to make sure stuff? y'all support. Can I hold um, the sign in? What are your channels so we can Shout Make out. sure y'all support. Well, I'm going to sure drop my support. Um, it's Elena Neal, E L A N A. N-E-A-L, that's my name. Y'all can find me on my social media on that. My Instagram, y'all. Yeah, yeah. My name is Yasmin Renee, and the Instagram is Y-A-S-M-I-N-R-E-N-E-E. And that's all my social media. This the Instagram right here, Oh, the social media. Wait a second. This the Instagram right here, YouTube. You should go live. Get with it. Yeah. Hey, we didn't even know something was planned, y'all. Y'all know I already got it put up. That's it. Oh, and that's it. Hi, okay, bye guys. Right. Right, look, look, look. Now. Hi, take I gotta show my cousin. She's not even down here. Oh. Look, they got all this. Wait, what's the on? YouTube channel called? The Benghazi Rabbit. Wait, say it again. The Benghazi Rabbit. Man, what is that? Wait, let's take it right. Me, I've done 46,000 people. <laughs> Bro, I gotta, here, type that in real quick. We about to tune in. We Shit. are. You oh, you on live? Yeah. Hell yeah. We, just popped our, we just popped in there and said all that. Well, yeah, you might as well go live and say, check us out on this. Yeah. Oh, I got We're you. just hanging out. We're just, we're no, just doing, doing this for this. our protection because people want to punch us in the face. Shit. All right, let me. You want to let them? Yeah, because then I'm going to take them to court and throw them in jail. All right. <laughs> Shit. At least you got a plan. Damn right, I got a plan. Wait, what batteries yeah, are we yeah. talking about? You want to see real quick? Let me the show battery you. I'm talking about? No. Oh, I Hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. Right, let me show you. Like, you about to be like, what the fuck? Look. Big ass fucking batteries. They're burning that? Yeah. Like, look at these fires. What? And look, where this picture was taken, where they're standing, there's a fucking river right behind them where the drinking water comes from. Here? Dang shit. Right down the road. Is that why the water be all fucking? Fuck yeah. Because the, make it a lot more the school here is funding it. And the oh, water, shit. and the water be stinking. They spent twenty million dollars to fund this shit. The water stinking. BG did. Yeah. They don't have tuition. Yes. All right. They spent yeah. Twenty million five hundred thousand dollars to extend this contract for twenty years to burn this. No. Y'all don't no, have no that's petition. That's not it. You should have brought oh, a petition. No. Twenty get jiggy million with it. Yeah, get, get jiggy with me. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Is how much uh, a work order was in twenty eighteen <laughs> for one burn? Oh, no. Wow. For one burn. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's what they're doing. Let me see. For what though? Did you hear me? Yeah. I what? said, why don't you bring like right. the Our water anything? be stinking here. We have. You guys that's that's you? now why we're getting all the people across the country to see it. That's insane. Because now I, we're going to come. This is the first time I'm hearing about it, but I'm also a commuter, so I'm coming from Toledo. You could do hashtag or Water is so, it stinks. Like you go in there, you go, 
Don't drink it. Don't bathe oh, it. Don't right drink here. it. Is those all real? Yes. Yeah, yeah. They're real. All right, everybody. Yep. So we are out here in Bowling Green, Ohio, at the Bowling Green State University. As you heard, I was wrong a little bit. Yeah. They spent twenty million dollars for one burn, not to extend the contract. So I was wrong there. I need to be admonished. Someone admonish me. Yes, we have talked to the vendors. We walked up and down. Uh, oh my God! There's another drone queue down there too, guys. The drones are all oh, queuing yeah, everywhere. Dude, it's just wild. No, yeah, it's wild. Wait a sec. She put it on her social media. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. Period. Y'all gonna be Guys, I, I don't think don't she understands who she's talking to right now. Who, me? Yeah, he's talking to like one of the most famous protesters in the country. I did not know. <laughs> Damn you, rabbit. Damn you, rabbit. The water tastes like lithium with a hint of ion. Admonished I shall be. I have been admonished. Thank you, chat, for admonishing me. <laughs> the water tastes like lithium with a hint of ion. That would be a good shirt. That would be a real good shirt. Oh gosh, I'm really glad you're in here, Brandon. Thank you for being in here. Fear the Cause rabbit. Because uh, I'm not modding today, obviously. Well, the, the next the next shirt is obviously okay, suck cock. Good. It rocks. That'll be the next shirt specifically for these frat boys. The Bowling Green State University Fire School has implemented a program for the city of Piqua to burn lithium ion batteries. That's a good idea. <laughs> so we're trying to stop the, the burning of lithium-ion batteries and other toxic materials funded by the school. How'd you like find out about that? This lady right here kind of basically dug up like the wildest investigation you could ever think of to represent the records and expose everything. And I'm not talking small batteries. I'm talking big ass batteries. Like, yeah, like car batteries. No, bigger than car batteries. This is four or five times. Here, here's a fireman for scale. Yeah. Massive. Okay. We're talking big, like school batteries. Yeah, That's big. what they're burning. Okay. And the school's funding it. But the problem that. is, that would be yeah, okay. But the problem is, where those pictures were taken, right behind actually, them, is the drinking water. It's the river and the lake. And you know it's a school? I have a picture right here with their branding on it. So there it is. So, here you go. Yeah, I'm going to best give a quarter up and look for what I've ever I have everything that you need to say to rebuke me, and I'm like, nope, I have everything. So now we're literally just gathering the, the public. We're spreading the awareness right now before I put off the story. So where do you go from here then? Like, I mean, you're telling There is really nowhere to go because these motherfuckers are just as complicit because they signed the permit. So there's, there's, there's nowhere to go, really. Uh, it, it, Have you done research on, like, the effects of looking on the environment? Oh, fuck yeah. Because I'd be curious to see, like... Oh, fuck yeah. Like, and not only that, but, like, in East Palestine, I'm sure you've heard about uh -oh. that. I'm sure you've heard about that situation. Yeah. So, the, the citizens of East Palestine... Is there an update on that one? Or are they... Yeah, they just did a 600... Well, Norfolk Southern just settled for, like, $600 million or so, which is bullshit. And we'll, we'll be out there soon covering that too with the updates. But the citizens there are concerned because the, the problems they're facing there are what Piqua's facing. But Piqua has been having it for five years under the radar. And she can she, she can give you all the info. Hi guys, I dropped you. I'm sorry. Sorry guys, I dropped you. Let me hey, let me stroke you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Come here. Okay, I'll make it up to you. Well, I'm so sorry I dropped you. I've heard the government. I need help. <laughs> Oh, 
lithium water and Z-Bugs. Great nutritional value. Guys, you guys are just feeding me the memes today. Thank you so much. If you guys have not seen this morning's video, please check it out. It's about 10 minutes. It's pretty good. I spent about 30 minutes last night at the local bar here working on it. And uh, I, I got to say, it's probably one of the best videos we have to date for the amount of time we spent on it. I'd say, what, we spent about 37 minutes and 15 seconds or so actually editing the video because I had to go through the YouTube live stream and stuff and they pull some things together. But other than that, it's like, it's pretty good. So minimal effort on it. Totally going to make a ton of money off that video because it's like the most awesome memory ever. So, you know, this is usually going to be a $300 paycheck coming in from YouTube just for that video alone. So thank you, Commissioner Homan, for being too totally awesome last night and giving me material to make memes off of you and like some extra money. So thanks for that. It's a, it's a good video. I think you guys will like it. Yep. Uh, you know, as you can see, the, the area is getting flooded by the libtards even more so. All right, guys, I'm going to have a new sign here. I grab from the lion. We're ready to terminate. Never had an understanding. The phone just stay interesting. First go. Hashtag day pick one. Oh, Wendy. For you guys you can do this by phone usually in Ohio. for those of you watching for those of you watching can you assist the lion and I since we are currently engaged in a constitutionally protected activity Ohio has great sun sunshine laws you can probably just call in I've seen people do it call in and just get body cam and they should send it right away can you guys please help us out by contacting the records department with Bowling Green State University, start the process. We will be doing it when we get home, uh, but as I said, we're out. Start the process I for the, us. I want the body cam of uh, when they were talking to the perpetrator, the whole thing. And uh, 911 calls too. There are any 911. Yep, so if you can, start that for us uh those of you who love doing the foyas and public records requests but again that's bowling green state university uh no worries if you don't want to but seriously those of you who have a spare a few minutes please do so uh and help start that process for us since we're currently out here dealing with literally surrounded by dumbasses so if you can, that'd be great. 
So for those of you just joining us, we're here at Bowling Green State University in Bowling Green, Ohio, educating citizens and the students that Bowling Green State University is burning lithium-ion batteries. And they think that's a great idea. Right? So while we're out here, I also got punched in the face by a frat boy who likes the sucky sucky, the cocky cocky. <laughs> that's pretty good. He got offended. So we're out here just educating people. Hanging out, enjoying the beautiful weather. <laughs> yep, yep, got attacked, got punched in the face twice, got head butted. Yep, so as you can see, because of that, they got the lieutenant sitting right there, babysitting just in case. Yep, generally specific. Uh, he'll probably have the exclusive on that. I'm sure he'll get that video done soon. So we'll let him just have the exclusive on it. And he'll share that out. Oh, yeah, this is this is generally specific's time to shine because now I actually have a good video to showcase on my channel. <laughs> Although there was one we were going to put up, but then we just got super sidetracked with a whole bunch of stuff. So. It's not that I don't think about you all the time in my mind. Oh, there's like one on his channel and really one on our channel. Oh, yeah, that, the one for um, Lawrence Accountability that you that, uh, oh, we really want to put up. That one. Yeah, that's a great one. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> we should have a live anti-violence protest outside that fire house. <laughs> Stop the hate. That guy, that guy embarrassed the shit out of his fraternity. Stop the hate. Oh, man. Learn to be gay. <laughs> God, I'm on such a fucking tirade today. Now you need to... Okay, all right. I think Stephanie's got me on this one. She said, now you need to do a high noon with this video. I think she's got us on this one. We might have to. I do not ever do interviews. The only reason I did one with Levi is because we were trying to, like, shut down the uh, the Boonesboro story and, like, finish it out and the Dan Skinner attack. But other than that, like, we don't do interviews, so. Generally specific as an awesome interviewer, so it's got to happen. I think it's time. It's time. We just, need, we just need to be able to get our laundry done. I mean, I need clean laundry. And I had to go buy something just to wear something clean. It's funny though, through that whole attack, get punched in the face and headbutted, like he, he wasn't strong enough to knock my hat off. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. I, I absolutely think that guy would. You know what? You we, know what's crazy though? That guy would have fucking punched a woman. Yeah, seriously. What did we talk about the other night? Like, <laughs> we, I forget who we were talking to, but we were talking to one of the citizens, and like, this is. You get attacked over this stuff, but they didn't understand. I'm like, yeah, I got. Because I was telling them the last time I actually got punched in the face. Aside from like the Karens and Darren's and stuff, it was like a love truck stop, like a good rocking where I felt it. Fuck, but this is pretty funny. Andy Sheets has been assaulted 12, what, 12 times? At least. And they've done, you know that nothing happened over that. That's in Puna, Florida, Florida. <laughs> no, see, that's right. If you guys pay attention to the channel for a bit, you'll notice I say things strategically to rile people up. And, like, I, I soul kill. If I can find something that will start to crack your egg, I'm just gonna. It's real. And I saw it on him, so I went after it. Um, so the intention, especially when they get up in front of the line or any of that, is just to keep going at them to where they'll completely bypass them. So I started moving away from her. Yep. Yep. The drone. The drone. Back. Damn. Should have had our pepper spray. That would have been a good one. Pepper spray's in the truck. I should go ask the lieutenant if, I, if pepper spray is legal on campus.
Yeah, it's but it's a school, so they may treat it differently. Yeah, well, they don't. You know how the liberals are. Right. All right, guys. Thanks so much for those of you still hanging out with us. I know it's been a, it's been a long day so far. It's kind of boring, but... Yeah. When the Lord tells you to come out and do something, you come out and do it. Right. Oh, we're totally going to go back over before we leave and see the fuckers on the seesaw again. Because they're the ones who got triggered over the first place. I think we should look into that frat house. A little, <laughs> little bitch is hiding in the frat house playing victim. Sorry, guys, I had to show a lady uh, pictures of the batteries. Again, if you guys haven't seen. So that's why we're here at BGSU. There's the, there's the fire. There's the batteries. Look, look at that shit. Like, the fuck? That's 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 the shit we're dealing with, guys. Pretty wild, huh? So we got the sign here that says the Terminator Med Raider Run Standard with Bunker City University Fire School. So it looks like the rush, the influx of students has passed this by. Ah, you're all doing a great job anyway. Stephanie's doing a great job. Carrie doing a great job. Everybody's doing a great job. Everybody's doing a fucking fantastic job. It's so good. So super good. So good. No, you guys rock for hanging out with us. For spending your time with us today. Seriously, thank you. We're just doing this for uh, our protection. As you saw. But something something told us, well, we got a good signal. Just go live. And we did. There's the lieutenant taking pictures of the eagle and stuff. They got a fucking bald eagle, guys. It's super cool. (laughs) 
Um, well, my tail was shot off, and then they fired some other shots, and my buddy Carl was hit like three or four times, and he subsequently died, so kind of scary. Kind of scare me. Okay, y'all. We going to class, but we back. And we back in again. But we on the way to class this time. And yeah. Right. No, it's ours. Wait. We'll, we'll be back in 30 minutes for an hour. Come on, let's go. Oh, sit your way away. Make sure you get my dish out. Let's do it for the BGSU side. You got time? No. Mm -hmm. I got class right now. Oh, oh, we can come, we can come back. We're, we're coming back. Okay, wait. How long are you going to be here? Like 220? Uh, about two. We're traveling. We're still happy. We'll be here. I'm not fucking zooming. You take it? Wait, I'm gonna say, I ain't know if it was gonna be a flash or not. Hey, that drone is drunk, guys. Which one? It's like I see you into your soul. <laughs> A nice lithium shower. <laughs> this water tastes like lithium with a hint of ion. <laughs> oh, <smack> of ion. <laughs> yo, yo, it does. <laughs> and then it runs away. <laughs> it did. Yo, did you yo, see that? every time Alicia and I make contact, like eye contact with the robot, it stops. It just took off. And then it just takes off. Oh, it took off. Dude, fucking That's dude. nuts. That's funny because every time I was looking at the other one, it was like, nope, I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he did it again. <laughs> oh, it's the little things in life, guys. The little things like a drone stopping randomly when you look at it that makes everything so much more fun. I hope his body cam is on. Guess we'll find out. All that robot data and bit That's a great question. I probably would say no. I honestly don't want to fuck with it. Last time my buddy fucked with it, he got arrested. So I'm not trying to depend on this thing. Watch as he is going to zip in from the right. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, let me stop. Rabbit's looking at me.
give it. Oh, I've been giving it the stink eye all damn day. I think that's why people are saying the water stinks because I've been here. I may have fertilized the wrong grounds. Cell phone data, facial recognition, and surveillance. That's unreal. Black drone box real quick, but a big take off. Yeah, totally. Are. Can you imagine that being that lazy that you need to order food from a drone? Yeah, Ah, he's not got his body cam on. Damn it. See how long the lion has the lieutenant detained for. There, there's one on that side and the one on the front. I mean, they're everywhere, guys. The cameras are everywhere. The cameras are everywhere. Uh, we might be getting close to wrapping up soon. I don't know how long we've been here. Can somebody give me a time check? <laughs> no. What fucking world are you living on? You're not free. This is not a free fucking country. You live in a police state. Get it right. So, no living free for you. No freedoms for you. No rights for you. Yeah, the, the drones, though, are a, a delivery drone for a private company. They're little snack drones. Uh, unless you're talking about the body camps. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Listen, fuck me for presuming. And assuming what's he, what's he talking about. You know, I wonder if we take the short drive up to Toledo well, after we leave here and get a... Let me look at you guys for this one. Do we take a short ride up to Toledo after this and go get a nice pizza from Stubborn Brothers Pizza in Toledo, Ohio? I'm going to let you guys decide that. You're not coming along. No, no, no. Don't think that you're coming. It's my pizza. Hey, it's my pizza. John Fatoga's never given me no pizza. I need to get my pizza. But... It's close enough. The drone footage. So yeah, um, I don't know. I'll look into that. I've never had a experience with these delivery drones, but I would presume not. But that's I don't know. The tenant's walking away. He's walking away. <laughs> Okay, so, I don't know if you guys have heard, but Sean Porter's channel is suspended for two weeks because the Karens want to be little cunts. So, Sean's got a nice little strike. But when he gets back, however, going to have some nice little videos to put out. I'm sure of it. How many kids get caught by that drone bed smoking dope on school property? That's a damn good question. I guess we'll never find out. Big enough. Sorry for the camera shake and the wind. It's pretty funny. Two liberals over there talking, talking about some shit. Like, they don't even care. Hey, they did people don't even know what they're talking about. And look at them. Two little ignorant little fuck boys over there don't even want to know what's going on. They just want to see them run their mouths. That's ah, okay. Keep drinking the toxic water, kiddos. One day you'll have to stick your cans and be like, why? My penis is gone. Why? Oh my goodness. Did you guys see the new sign that we're making? <laughs> With Roy Rogers and all that stuff? That's a pretty good one. Don't love that one over there on that, that corner with Roy Rogers. Don't love that sign. But I don't know if you guys noticed, the jihadi terrorist made his way on that sign too. The one that attacked Sam. So he's on that sign. picking up sun's moving away yeah anybody got an update on that that uh mayor situation i don't know what's going on with that one hi lion hello yes i have the camera on two little fuckboy libtards over there in the in the like maroon and gray slate right there oh, yeah. with the hands in their pockets they totally take it up the butt. Hey, uh, yes, there is. Uh, oh, cool. On campus, just no sporting events. Oh, very cool. 
Very yeah, cool. so in these public spaces, yes, which makes sense because, um, you know, they don't want these girls out here right. walking around right. at night without it. That's okay. I've stated this numerous times, everyone, and people are, st I guarantee you guys, I'm calling this right now, people in the comments of this upcoming video that Jeremy Specific is going to put out. And if we put it up to you, they're like, why didn't you give him the sauce, Rabbit? Why didn't you spray him, Rabbit? Well, personally, guys, I, I really don't like using pepper spray. I've carried it for eight years. It's I know. windy anyway. It probably yeah, would have hit me. I know how pepper spray works, and the, the spray I carry is, oh, here we go. Finally, you're the boss to come I, see what's going on, I huh? I got a question. <laughs> I want to know what cost $20 million to burn. It was just eating at you, wasn't it? <laughs> I was, what cost $20 million to burn? I'm not but, sure. You're not sure. Do you want to... Uh, uh, I've heard that uh, the Yeah, the pepper spray is too windy. Yeah, yeah. It would have probably yeah. ended up hitting me anyway with it. Like, it would have sprayed on a bunch of people. Other alternative. It's good to know. I'm not like, talking small shit. Do you know what that is? Look at that. Yeah. Someone said it was something. Like, and there's a scale. Answer. There's a fire. Wait, let me let scale. me go back to the one that was like Can you open. It? Like we're talking industrial it, size. It looks rack like, batteries. Yeah, it looks like just yeah that That's like what storage. It is. Well, like, yeah, but uh, large you know, storage. Yeah, rack batteries. Did you ask them and they like didn't tell you? Yeah, no, I will. They don't tell you what it is. They have okay. to do FOIAs and <laughs> emails to the right. government. <laughs> it, it, it's wild. Dude. Wait, so did they spend twenty million dollars on stuff to burn? And you don't know what it is. Yeah, oh, they're not. I thought it was a rhetorical question. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> right, literally that. Like they'd rather spend it on one burn for training or research or something like that. I believe it's for training. It's firefighters. If it were training, let me ask you this, Craig. There weren't any from the city. If it was firefighters, we were in a It's a fire school. Like people go to fire. So people go to BG, fire lanes. Not fire lanes, fire school. Is it on the fire lanes again? Or is it smoothly separate? I have no free There's another camp here. This facility is like a Oh Dayton, okay. I'm not from Ohio. Yeah. I thought it was Looks a part like this of the is day, so. <laughs> that that's a great question right don't have an answer the easiest answer is just not, just not well no yeah. here's the thing those pictures you saw were from a levee right on top of a levee what's right. next to a levee water they're so they're burning it 150 feet from the river, but also within the residential zone. Tell me that's not a safe thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> so. Doing on dead winds not blowing. Oh my god, this is the type of shit that we're talking about. But if the, I mean, it'll blow up here. The wind. I'm not, I'm not a fire major. <laughs> <laughs> 
2 o'clock. Time to go. All right, everybody. It is 2 o'clock. So that is the time that we are allotting for this protest. So join us as we start venturing back to the vehicle. And get on up out of here. So, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Again, we are in Bowling Green, Ohio, at the Bowling Green State University, educating all the citizens or the students on what their tuition money is funding. It is funding the strategic dismantlement of small town America and the poisoning of the heartland of Ohio. It's literally that. Time. That's what they're. I'm gonna tell my friend about the twenty million dollar thing. I'm interested. In that. Take care of the left side. You too. All right. Okay. Yep, I do too. All right, guys. We're going to get on out of here. Stay with us for a couple more minutes, guys, as we walk back to the vehicle. Come on, guys. You know how this works. Whenever we get ready to go is when shit pops off. You can't leave yet. It's always when we're getting ready to leave is when shit happens. Right. So, stay with us, guys. Just hang out, I know. I, I did find out that the, the body cam footage will be available. Uh, they do something when they get back after this. Cool. At, upload the, it. at the end of their shift and upload it. It doesn't upload immediately, and I did ask him that, but it will be uploaded today at some point. Cool. And, uh, and uh, he also said that he likes wearing a body cam. He's all for it and really likes it. He thinks it protects him. So I like hearing that from a it police does. officer. It's the point. It's mm -hmm. protection from all parties. I said the camera doesn't lie and he said it doesn't. So. Yeah, thanks, Brandon. Uh, sorry to keep your time, bro. If you can, just hang out for just a couple more minutes. We're waiting for uh, Alicia. Um, yeah, I mean, I've already got punched in the face twice and head-butted. So. Oh, no, no, that's, 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 that's part of the game. It's unfortunate yeah. There's always one. He took the bait. <laughs> yeah, we absolutely And he wasn't even he was up there either. Yeah. <laughs> you harassed my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys have gotten Oh, goodness. Well, that, I mean, I mean, you get a nice strong wind coming up from Pickwood Bowl, all that toxic ass smoke up here. These kids are just stuck. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Stephanie. You guys are awesome. They're, they're hanging out till the live is over. So we got our, we got our backup watching. You guys are great because of all of you all of your support donations everyone going to our website checking things out it's because of all of you we've been able to do this trip and come up and give voice to the people of the city of Piqua right. oh you little scoot scoot <laughs> Definitely a neighbor. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, I wish I would have been out here a little earlier, but... Did you see the guy punch me in the face? You got punched in the yeah, face. Yeah, you should have been out here earlier. <laughs> and he head-butted me. <laughs> Rabbit, when are you coming to Florida? Actually, we got, we're, we're planning to come to Florida here soon.
He's lucky I have self control, otherwise, it would have been a bad day for him. Oh, I. If I got punched in the face, I would have been doing some punching in the face. All right. I'm just going to wait for Megan. It was nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Take care. Me too. Thank you. Oh, wait. You don't want to wait for her to go. Is she coming down? Yeah, she's right there. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks for having us up. Let's go take some pics at the sign. With the sign. Yeah, definitely. The, uh, the big photo walk over here. There's also a big falcon down by the university. Really? Oh, yeah, the truck. Yeah, like, yeah we're going to head to the truck. That's the party. Yeah, that whole area right there. I'm pretty sure it's the free speech circle. <laughs> <laughs> there's yeah, there's, like, there's no so such cool. thing. There's no such thing as the only place they can't ask you to leave. I guess I should be friends. I, well, no, I'm not going to. Well, you, but I just want to if they ask the you to leave, then you just get a federal car. lawsuit. It's all public property. That's what they're learning in Piqua is all these new. They're kicking people out. Yeah, the fucking NBA. Well, the like, tr there's trespassing people, right? Yeah, but they don't realize that it's just little, opening them up to civil litigation. And the best part is, if they stop public comment. This is where this is where it gets good, and the viewers know this too. If they stop public comment and there's still a queue of people lined up for public comment, say there's like 15 people that don't get to speak, that's 15 new federal lawsuits. That's for them restricting free speech. That's they they need to allow all of the people who wish to speak to speak. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. It's it's fucking insane. The moment I met Megan and heard all the shit, I was like, time to get. I guess more annoying. Like, I don't even know what to say. It's fucked up. I'm, I'm sorry That's that you have to do all is. this shit. Like, but I appreciate so heavily that you're doing it. For real. Oh yeah. And, Who and else would have done it? No one. That's what I'm saying. No one else is gonna do it if you guys don't. It's well, fucked up. I it's expect. wild too because our viewers are now seeing that the retaliation aspect from the city. It's like you say the tiniest little thing. Oh yeah. Code enforcement. Animal control, city police, kicked out of the city meetings. Like, and I spent the tiniest amount of time trying to get like news outlets aware or even like to comment on it. And like, probably like ten hours of like reaching out to people and no one said shit. Like, it's absolutely insane. So I cannot imagine what you guys have fucking been through because I was so incredibly livid and almost at a loss just in what that town? short period of I, mean, I was uh, messaging uh, 13 ABC I uh, messaged the BG Independent Journal which Megan did as well um, the other WBGU page that they've got I messaged W Ohio the same page that was basically saying that there was nothing wrong with any of the soil results which is funny because I spoke with them specifically left a bunch of phone numbers uh, told them about the protest you guys had I think it was maybe like three weeks ago now so two or three weeks ago I'm bad with time frames and they seemed like they were super interested and then like a day later they come out with this article saying that the soil levels are just it's just fine it's cool Right. Like, so, it's just. I Did don't they know. bring in their own soil? I'm sure that they, I mean, to any possible way that they could have swayed and manipulated the results they've done to their best ability. And I think there's probably a lot of hush money going around because no one in BG wants to comment on it. No one in Toledo wants to comment on it. Anywhere that's in a close enough radius to where someone could get their mitts on someone and be like, hey, Here's a little bit of money to shut the fuck up. I feel like that's probably I mean, why the why the fuck else would they want to? I mean, that's what news article like news reporters like. That's what they get off on is exposing unjust situations right. and crazy stories. You'd think they'd be salivating at the the potential like chance to, to expose this, but they seem scared. Oh, sorry. Well, there's definitely money flowing around. Oh, you can a see fuck it. Ton. Well, yeah, just you can see it just in that. Oh, well, thanks for doing what you're doing. 
yeah whatever else you guys do I joined the toxic pickle group I'm obviously like Megan lives like five minutes away from me we're trying to do a lot more local stuff so I'll definitely well, keep fighting we're getting fight it out there to the country now as well and the world I mean we have we have international viewers as well yeah. so no, insanity but yeah no it's amazing it was beautiful meeting you guys i Likewise. hope you have a great trip back to pick one to have fun for not drinking the water i'm so sorry <laughs> right. what were your one. names my name's white rabbit white rabbit and what's your name lion lion okay my name is zoe it was great to great to meet you nice guys to meet you, zoe. have a good one see you later take care of a bus all right babe yep. nope. When we get through with him on the fucking video, it's gonna be very. He's gonna. He's gonna get destroyed on that video. Yeah. All right. All right, everybody. We're hanging out, so you hear. I mean, mainstream news won't cover it. Local news right. barely covers it. It's up to we, the people. They definitely put a lot of money in this fucking place. Yeah, it, it looks different than it did 20 years ago. For sure. All right. The army of drones. Yeah, did you guys see all them drones? Like, there's drones everywhere. There's, like, six down there. Wow. Look at that. It's just... Wow. A lot of money. I wonder what the tuition is here. And how much of that's going to burn the lithium on batteries. Right? You know, at, at, at one of the meetings, the meeting last night, someone's like, they would never burn, the firefighters would never burn anything that would poison us. They would never do that to us. Shit. The police would never allow it. Williams Hall. Are we going the right way? Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. All right, guys, we don't know where the fuck we're going, so we're just walking around I'm trying to get back to the truck. You can look at my majestic beard. They're laying you mulch and stuff down. Because, you know, landscaping and liberal education mix hand in hand because the only job you can get after you graduate a school like this is to be a fucking gardener and pick up rich people's poop. Because your education means nothing. Oh, let's just come. Oh, over here, across the fire station. Look what they burn in East Palestine, Ohio. Yes. Let's talk about East Palestine, Ohio. Did you guys know there were Ford Maverick trucks? on the train that derailed in East Palestine. Now, for those of you who are unaware about the Ford Maverick, the 2023 Ford Maverick comes standard as an electric vehicle with a battery. So, what was burned in East Palestine? A battery and a whole bunch of other shit. Coincidental not though? I don't think so. So yeah, why the fucky things going on, guys? This would be a nice, nice place to have some fun, and party out, right? All right, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with us again. Yes, they just settled for six hundred million in East Palestine. Six hundred million dollars to Norfolk Southern is absolutely nothing. 
Rabbit, you want to come on StreamYards with me later and live react to my video? <laughs> Rabbit, you want to come on StreamYards later and live react to his video? Do you want to? I don't know. I was looking at you for the answer. <laughs> yeah, why not? We'll come hang Honestly, out. We have a good signal. We can do it. Yeah, if our right. signal's good, we'll yeah, come hang out. Alright everybody, again, thank you. Ooh, look at that. What time is the what time is the stream right now? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, let us know. Uh I will send you an email with our phone number if you wanna text and coordinate offline. Yep. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us for this protest in Bowling Green, Ohio, Bowling Green State University to spread awareness that the Bowling Green State University Fire School is funding lithium ion battery burning research. Let's see what you like We're going to keep going until we get in the truck, which is the case. Just in case. Yes, everybody, have a blessed day. Enjoy your day. It's a beautiful day. Hope everything is well. Look, they got a little hammock here over here. Cool hangout in some hammocks. My faith, faith. My faith, faith. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Be sure to tune in to Generally Specifics channel later tonight. You can check out the libtard throwing hands and attacking the rabbit. Because, well, let's be real. I called him out for being a pussy, and I was right. He's a pussy. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you. See you later tonight, Generally Specific. Okay, guys, yes, uh, we will email you here in about five minutes so I don't forget. Right. Remember, guys? Drink some water. Got it. So hit the lithium. And a splash of ion. Very tasty. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. Head over to Generally Specifics channel later. You can see me get attacked by some fucking moron. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for hanging out and being our backup.